sometimes when we listen to our voicemails, we hear those patients leaving a message that they sound pretty frustrated. We don't know why. Maybe we're the 10th office that they've called and no one's answered the phone. Maybe they just cracked a tooth. But for whatever the reason, it's important that you don't tell yourself a story about who this patient is before you call them back. Don't say, oh, this is going to be a bad call or, oh, they're going to be a jerk. Go into it saying, they are frustrated for some reason and I want to make sure I can help them figure that out. So here's how it, your conversation can go. Hi, Mrs. Caller, this is Jen from Patient Prism Dental. I got your voicemail. Is everything okay? No, I just cracked a tooth and I'm just really upset. Oh my goodness, Mrs. Patient. Well, I don't want to upset you. I don't want to create more frustration for you. I do want to talk to you about what your needs are. Do you still have time to talk right now? I don't know if you noticed in that little scenario, but what I used is called the I don't, I do. You clearly state what you don't want to happen. I don't want to frustrate her any more than necessary. I don't want to upset her. I do want to talk to her about what's going on. This combination of the I don't, I do can also work great with patients in office or even at your own home. Honey, I don't want to get into an argument about your socks on the floor. I do want to tell you that you need to start doing your own laundry from now on.